Hello, Kingdom family. Welcome to another meditation moment with this being a new month. And we are in the month of independence, celebrating Independence Day. Why not get started with a meditation? Today is July 3rd, and it's coming from Ecclesiastes 7.3. I'm reading in the NLT. It reads, sorrow is better than laughter, for sadness has a refining influence on us. Sorrow is better than laughter because sadness has a refining influence on us. And Ecclesiastes is one of those books that's written by Solomon. He had much profound wisdom that uh, we've all come to know and love in the Bible. And I think that this is a bold statement to make that sadness is better than laughter. When you think about it, he's actually right because Sadness is one of those things that though we don't look forward to it, it's one of those moments in life in a day where it makes you sit back. You think more, you reflect. If it's laughter, it's more of like a passing moment. You, you're enjoying the moment. It's not something that's going to make you necessarily better as a person. When we think of sadness, it's one of those things that actually helps you to improve. It's sort of that refining fire that the Bible refers to. Um, gold and silver is refined through fire um, and the Lord does some of the same thing in us and that is through sadness not saying that he wants to cause us sadness it's just that if you look at the situation and you really look at it for everything full context you will see that though it wasn't a pleasant experience to have you are a better person because you fought through it, worked through it. And so that's something to consider if you are experiencing loss, grief, um, job loss, any type of change in life that makes you sad. Um, it could be friendship. Consider the fact that sadness is better than laughter and that that sadness has a refining influence on you. All right, in the meditation, it reads, scriptures like these shift your perspective. You begin to value situations because of their lasting impact. And that is exactly what I just explained to you. Um, so if you do not have your handy devotional, please pick one up. Um, it's now on TikTok shop. And please make sure that you have it available for your friends and family as they come to visit you or your coworkers as they come by your desk. This is a great reminder to be present with the Lord throughout the day and to remind you of scriptures that you can lean on and memorize for your growth in the word. This has been a great meditation moment. I will see you next week. Be blessed.